This is Jeff with Shout Out Minnesota, and we are here with Warren G. Man, Warren, welcome to Minneapolis, man. Thanks for having uh, me. You are on tour. Mm -hmm. You're hitting some cities. Mm -hmm. Every every place you've been going, you say it's getting turned up. It's going to oh, be yeah. no different here. I I believe that. Yes, you did. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the tour. Well, uh, I'm just out tomorrow, man. Just you know, going to uh, all of these cities, man, and putting on a great show, man. Just really. You know, connecting with the fans and stuff like that who never got a chance to see me. They have, but it was on other tours like the Up and Smoke tour, and, you know, uh, opening up and stuff like that. They didn't really get a chance to really see my show, but, you know, I'm just going around doing shows, still staying active and relevant, and uh, just having a good time, man. Well, that's good, man. Well, we're glad to have you here. Looking forward to it. Uh, you're on my bucket list, so I'll that's get to all, see you tonight. Man. And, uh, it was that, like I said, definitely looking forward to it. Um, can you give us a little history of how you got started into the business? Uh, well, <clears throat> um, you know, I used to, to uh, uh, you know, want to DJ and rap, you know, just being around Dre, you know what I'm saying? He, he inspired me to, to uh, get into the, the DJ, you know, the production heavy, but um, I, as a kid, uh, he showed me how to get out on the turntables, and uh, from there, you know, I just, I used to be with Snoop down in Long Beach, and we used to, to um, you know, we went to elementary school together, we went, <laughs> we used to be everywhere together, and right. just, but we, but we worked at this, this company called uh, United Teens, and uh, that's where we formed the Voltron crew, uh, that I talk about on this DJ, and um, mm -hmm. that was when, uh, you know, every time we would, when we, I was not even supposed to be working, but I was out working because my mom, you know, I was doing it on the snake, making money. And, right. You know, she was, she was tripping about me going with, with a person she don't know out to a whole other city, but I didn't tell her. You know, but I was going to get money. So, so as we was doing that, uh, it was about twelve of us. We all be in this van packed, and uh, we just used to freestyle all the time. And, uh, you know, it was me, Snoop, the twins, uh, it's a bunch of us, man. And, uh, you know, that, that was like the start of, of uh, you know, me really wanting to rap, you know. Uh, and I think I was about 12 or 13, man. Let's go back, back in time, back into these women, turn my back for mine. I remember when we all used to stop at the stop. Back then my nigga name was Snoop Rock, yeah, it was all so clear. 87, 88, then 89 to get it. See, everywhere we roll, people say we roll back. Way back then, 213 was the click. Serving the state paid, I was just a young home. Warren G, Snoop Rock, and Nick Dog. You don't see what I see. Every day at Warren G, you don't see what I see. But it's so hard to live through these years. After that, you know, make a long story short, because I can't. <laughs> I can't just get into every all of them because we'll right, be here right. for hours. But I'm gonna forward a little bit and uh, and uh, going to tell you guys about how I got introduced to the world in, in hip hop. And uh, it was one day I went to uh, a bachelor party. I hadn't seen my oldest brother Dre in a while, so I went to the bachelor party. They ran out of music. It was a guy named L.A. Dre right there, so. I was like, I got some music, so I told my homeboy, Gangsta Rod, I said, man, go grab the tape out the car. So he grabbed it, came up, we put it in, and was banging, and L.A. Dre was like, this shit banging. He was like, what is this? And I was like, that's me, my homeboy Snoop, and my homeboy Nate Dog. And uh, he was like, did you let your brother hear this? I was like, no, nah, because I didn't want to get shot down again, you know, because he shot us down a gang of times. Like, no, boo boo. Mm -hmm. So he came over, he heard, he was listening, he was like, who was that? And he was like, that's us. I was like, that's me, Snoop, and Nate. And uh, he was like, damn. He was like, look, I want y'all to come to the studio on Monday. So I called Snoop, told him what was up, 
he didn't believe me at first, so I had called Dre on the three-way uh, to confirm it. Mm -hmm. And once he confirmed and we got that name, we all just went up to the studio. And from that point up, it was on from there. Okay. Uh -huh. Nice, nice. Uh, a little insight on that. That's great. Um, a lot of people don't, you know, know a lot of uh, the hip-hop history and hear stuff like that is very uh, inspiring, especially to upcoming well, I artists. The, I got the G Funk G Funkumentary that I'm working on right now, and it's gonna let people see what G Funk did for West Coast hip hop and the hip hop culture. Period. And uh, I got a lot of great people on there, man. A lot of great, and I'm doing a soundtrack to it. That's gonna be my like my detox. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's going to be a docu movie. The uh, G Funkumentary is a docu movie. So we're trying to decide if we want to go to the big screen with it or just keep it on a, on a, on a, uh, either a Netflix level or, or, you know, stuff like that. Right. We're, not, we're not sure yet. But right. uh, it's looking like we're going to end up hitting the big screen and we're getting it ready because we're going we're gonna, uh, to uh, uh, display it uh, Sunday. So we're working on so that's in the near future? This is coming up. That's so, coming up, uh, real. The Sundance is when, uh, I think it's around Christmas time. Maybe it's right before Christmas or it's right after Christmas. All right, so be looking for that. That'd be coming out soon. Yeah, it'll be coming soon, you know, real soon. Right. And, uh, and I'm just so, so happy. Like, I wish I could tell y'all, like, the people that, that's, you know, that I reached out to, that I handpicked to uh, do it. And they all, in no backlash nothing why just doing it like it's for you i got you and then that was going to be my next question about the g-funk and how it got created and how it started but i guess that the documentary will explain everything it'll let you know what time it is that's good that's yeah. good um now you've done some acting and stuff as yeah. well um i just want to bring this up the, but the movie old school which is a classic Oh yeah, and, and and you had your 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 time in there with, with you and Snoop. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> How fun was that to work on? Oh, it was cool. I, the the part that uh that shit was crazy because Will Ferrell was naked, <laughs> but people that we seen some shit that they they couldn't see. They got this thing that goes on the shit. You can't you can't. <laughs> so he ain't running like his shit just running and jingling everywhere. Right. It's some shit that they put right there that hold your shit in. But <laughs> on the camera, is it, I, they got some kind of tricky shit that they do. But that shit was tripping me out. Like, this motherfucker running through here naked. And we got to do yeah. this shit time after time. You know, oh, keep man. doing it. I'm like, oh. Let's God. get this right the first time, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's great, but it, man. It was fun, man. It was fun. It was my first, one of my first experiences uh, behind the, the, the camera. It was a short, short experience, but it was cool just to be there. That's good. Uh, any new music coming out besides the documentary? Uh, I may try to drop a little something before the summer is over with, man. But I just got to make some calls and see, you know, how I could set it up to make a big impact or just do it as a stream. You know, if I do mm -hmm. it as a stream, I could... I could uh, that could be some really big promotion just as a stream, you know, you know blast that out everywhere. But I'm mm -hmm. thinking about it. I'm mm -hmm. thinking about it. You know, a lot of people is asking me the same thing. And uh, I mean, I got ideas. I got records with artists. I got, I got, I got beats with artists on them. Like, I got a, uh, I got two records with Ty Dolla Sign on it. That's hard. I may do one of those. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we're I, definitely. Am. Definitely yeah. all ears on that. So, yeah. Um, and, and then you know, I got I got records with Nate still, but you know, I'm, I I did I did that on the EP, so I ain't really tripping. I got one record that I might use uh, with Nate on it. That's really dope. It's called Old Girl. That motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> I'll be looking and for that slow. too. It's a straight slow record. It's it's dope. Yeah. Definitely. Well. Uh, we're going to wrap it up here. I know you uh, time's tight here. you got to meet and greet and all that stuff going yeah. on. Um, but I want to give you one opportunity to give mm -hmm. one last shout-out to the fans of Minnesota. Uh, man, that's Warren G. I want to send a big shout-out to Minnesota. Uh, you guys always have showed me love whenever I've been here. And uh, 
I just want to say much love, man. And we in the home of Prince, man. Morris Day. Shit. The time. Period. Classic shit. That's Minnesota. Throw your hands in the air So wave them like you just don't care I said throw your hands in the air So wave them like you just don't care I said throw your hands in the air So wave them like you just don't care And if you did not want your homeboy boy Warren G Somebody say oh yeah I'm flipping to a whole new era Cheek on step to this Okay.